Hello everyone, I'm Vikas from Ismail Academy and I welcome you to another video on Android Studio and Android App Development. So in the last video, I created the Android application using the Firebase where I showed you guys how to update the password and I also show you guys how to update the profile picture and so on and I saw that a lot of you guys is asking for that uh, full edit profile tutorial so from this video I'm going to be working on that so we're going to work on that together so I have not made any changes on the last application so you can go ahead and download the source code if you don't have it or if you are watching this for the first time but if you want to learn how to implement the Firebase authentication and how to retrieve and save the profile data and change the profile picture you of the firebase user then you gotta go and watch the video that i have put on the playlist i will list that playlist link on the video description as well okay so let's go ahead and talk about what we're going to do today so today we're going to change all the data that is displayed here so that is full name um email address and the phone number okay so here you need to understand that full name email address and the phone number are the component of the user profile okay email address is already saved into the firebase authentication so i don't need to save that anywhere else but full name and the phone number is stored in the firestore database so if you don't know about firestore database then again you need to go back and watch the video that i have added on the playlist on the called the firebase email authentication series okay so for the basic uh, information the Firebase Firestore is a database. It is a cloud store database and it stores the data in the form of collections and the documents. Okay. So we have the collection called user and inside that we have the document and that document contains the particular user's information. Okay. So and every user will have the unique ID or document ID and based on that we, we can identify which user is logged in and we will decide which information is to be displayed here in the activity okay so here you can see we have three things uh, three buttons that is change profile button reset password button and the logout so you will probably understood what these buttons are going to do but currently when I click on this profile change profile button it, it's only going to give you the option to change the profile picture and not other file so I'm going to implement this in the new activity so when, whenever the somebody click on the change profile button I'm going to start a new activity called edit profile activity and there I'm gonna give the option to add the full name and I'm gonna give the option to add the email address or change the email address and they can also add the new phone number as well as they can also add or remove the profile picture okay so this is the simple thing we don't need to worry about any advanced technique that we're not going to use so it, it will be a really simple tutorial okay so let's go ahead and implement that so for that we need a activity as I said so we need the edit profile activity so let's go in, go here and create the edit profile activity all right so right click on this click on new and create new activity from the menu here so we'll be using the empty activity so click on that after that we need to provide the name for the activity that it that is in our case edit profile so it's not going to be launcher activity and any other thing like that so click on finish all right once the activity is created we can go ahead and implement the edit profile function in our application okay so we have this edit profile xml layout here and i'm going to make the exact copy of the thing that we have in the activity main okay so let's go to the activity main here and this is the layout we have so i'm gonna i, I wanna have the same thing okay and i just wanna replace this uh, your name email address and phone number with the uh, text view plain text view that we have here so that we can user can input the data all right so uh let's go here and drag and drop the plain text so guys i'm gonna uh, pause the video here and make the design and after that you can copy the same design okay because it's going to take a lot of time to design this because uh, i need to fix a lot of constraint here so okay so i'm gonna pause the video and come back in a second okay the design is ready it is not that complicated design it's a simple three field design here you can see 
and each of this field have the ID so this is the profile name this is the profile email address and this is profile phone number and we have the buttons that has the ID of save profile info and we have the profile image view as the image view okay these all are having its own id so that we can we'll be able to use that in the main activity here so i'm going to go to the edit profile activity and uh, so before that we need the data all right so uh, to let the user edit their data or profile they should be able to know what what data was previously present in that particular field all right so in the your name field and your email address field and phone number field will display the whatever the data they have previously all right and in the image view as well so to be able to do that i'm going to go to the main activity here and whenever somebody click on the change profile uh, instead of giving this uh, intent gallery or instead of letting them choose the uh, image from the gallery again we implemented this in the previous video so if you haven't watched that you can go and watch that okay so i'm going to comment this because we need this code uh, in the edit profile activity so i'm going to add uh, intent here and i'm going to start new activity so let's create the intent intent i new intent and i'm gonna uh, i want to go from this intent to edit profile intent okay so edit profile dot class now uh i can start the activity and i can pass the intent i but here what i want to do is i want to pass the value of previously present data in the particular user profile okay so i want to pass the uh, email address phone number and the profile name of the particular user okay so later we'll face the data from the firebase firestore database but current for now i am gonna uh, pass the sample data so that we can go ahead and implement other other features in the edit profile uh, activity all right so to do that to pass the data from one intent to another we can use the put extra field and here we'll use the key value pairs so this is the full name so i'm going to give the full name as the key and i'll pass the data that is let's say my name and similarly i'll pass the email address and all right so this is my email and finally the phone number so i dot put extra key is phone and the value is some phone number okay so i'm just going to give some random number here all right now in the edit profile activity i can get the intent and retrieve this data all right so i'm going to do that now so here i'm going to create the new intent so intent so i'm going to create the variable intent and call its name as data and i'm going to use the get intent method okay now i'm going to create the string variables for full name and i'm going to use data dot get string extra and here i need to pass the key value key that i have given there so one of the key was full name another was email so i'm going to get the data dot get email extra all right so now i'm going to log this data so that we'll be able to see if we are getting this data or not okay from the main activity so it is a good practice to always use log to uh, check if the data is passed or not from one activity to another okay so this is a good practice so i'm going to create the constant field here so i'm going to use control alt c and hit enter and it's going to create the uh, that tag for us here okay static variable so here i'm going to display the data so that is full name and uh, email let me give the space and the last one is phone number all right okay i'm gonna run this application on my phone and we will see if and we will see if the data is passed or not from the main activity to the edit profile activity okay so let's do that i'm gonna open up my phone and run this application so my phone is already connected here if you have not you can connect it and if you have the emulator you can also select the emulator but in my system emulator do not work the properly so i have to use the my real device so i'm gonna do that let's do that okay guys the uh, application is running here and you can see this is, this was the application that we built previously and we have displayed the image here okay this image is faced from the uh, fire store uh, firebase storage for this particular user okay 
Now, if I click on this change profile button, it should uh, send me to the, yeah, edit profile activity here. And now I'll be able to use uh, this form, but um, our purpose was to check if the data is passed from here or not. All right. So I'm going to go to the lock cat here and I'm going to select the verbose and search using the tag. Okay. So here you can see in the on create, the data is uh, passed successfully. Okay. So this is how we pass the data. This is the email and this is the data phone number. Now what I want to do is I want to display that phone numbers into these fields. Okay. So let's do that. To, to be able to do that, first we need to create the variables for edit text here. So edit text and we have profile full name profile email as well as the profile phone number. Now I'm going to bind the data. So just after this, I'm going to use these variables, profile, full name, find byid, r.id, and the id of the profile that we, id of the edit text that we have given in the edit profile. So I think one of these is profile, full name. Okay. Make sure you are selecting the right uh, resources here. Otherwise it's going to crash the whole application when you run it. Find byid, r.id, profile email address okay so this one is the correct one and last one is the profile phone now i want to set the text to this so i can use the profile the variable name and with that i can use the set text and i can pass the email okay similarly for the profile full name dot set text and data sorry uh, that is full name is the variable name where we have stored the received data and the last one is sorry a phone number yeah okay prof profile phone dot set text and the phone number is a variable yeah now if i run this application we should be able to see the data in this edit text field and we should be able to ed edit that data all right let me run this the app is running now let's see and i'm going to click on change profile and you can see we have the name here email and the phone number and i i, I want to also implement the image here so if somebody wants to change the profile image they have to click on the profile image and it will give them the option to choose the picture okay so let me implement the on click listener on this image file. So I'm going to create the new variable for the image view. Yeah, oh, sorry, image view and profile image view. Okay, now I'm going to bind the data same as how I have done with the now I want to set the uh, on click listener on this profile image view so that we can handle the action when user click on the image okay so let's say it on click listener new on click listener and for now i'm just going to display some toast message saying that it has been clicked okay let's run this and see if this is working after that we'll come back and implement uh, pass the actual data of the particular user from the main activity to the edit profile activity okay Okay, click on change profile and if I click on image, it display that profile image is clicked. 